type mark, mark, and item number. These are three different parameters that can be used to hold a food service equipment item number. So what are they? What makes them different? How are they used? Which one should you use? Some other questions that we're going to answer in this series of short videos. So type mark and mark. First off, these two are Revit standard parameters or Revit default parameters. Um, they're in every family. They're in every project. You can't delete them. And they contain a data type called strings, which is, you know, and any phrase, letters and numbers can be used in them. So these two parameters we're going to start with and um, explain the difference between these two. And then we'll get to the item number parameter. So the easiest way to show you the difference between type print or type mark and mark is to show you in a family. And the big difference between the two of them is that type mark is a type parameter and mark is an instance parameter. So one really quick tip, um, if you click to select a family, what you see over here in the properties palette, these are all instance parameters. This button right here, edit type, if you click that, it's going to open up all of the type parameters. So same family, you can see it says type parameters right here. So this is for this refrigerator family. Um, over here are all the instance parameters. And then over here are all the type parameters. So combined this list plus this list, that's every parameter in this family. So you can see over here, we have the mark parameter and you will notice that the type mark parameter is not over here and that's because the type mark parameter is a type parameter so if we scroll down this list you'll see here's type mark right here mark what this means is that this number is unique to the family type family type being right here this refrigerator small casters and worked up so this number will be unique to this type so what that means is that this family right here, it's another one of these same refrigerators. If I look at its type mark, you'll see that it's identical. If I change this one here and I come back to here and look at this guy, you'll see it changes as well. So that means that every family in the entire project of this family type will have this same mark. Now let's look at the instance parameter the mark parameter. Here, this one's item number one. This one over here doesn't have a number, so let's put item number two. If we go back, it doesn't change this one. What the instance parameter means is that it's unique to this instance of a family. So an instance basically means one individual piece of equipment or one individual family in the project. If you had 15 of these exact same refrigerators, all of them could have different mark values, 1 through 15, but they would all be forced to have the same type mark value. So the other thing with instance parameters is that what if you did want to have this second refrigerator as item number one? Well, you can do that. It'll pop up this warning and saying that they have duplicate mark values, but just because they have duplicate mark values isn't really an error. It just means that when you go to your equipment schedule, you'll have a quantity of two. This is really the fundamental difference between type mark and mark, which really just comes down to type parameters versus instance parameters. Um, it's a it's a really founding concept of Revit. Um, it's it's a great thing to to learn early. And it gets used in not just these two parameters, type mark and mark, but also in every other parameter in Revit. Um, everyone has to have a designation, either a type parameter or an instance parameter. And you can see one is unique to the family type and one is unique to the family instance.